it's me again. Today is Monday, April 11th, 2022. And if you haven't done your IRS federal tax return yet, you might want to start doing it as it's due next week on the 18th, Monday. Just a little FYI. You might want to consider doing your taxes now. Uh, in case you have any day trades, any, you know, net capital gains or capital losses uh, in which you must, you know, file the appropriate schedules for the Internal Revenue Service. If you live out of country, I'm sorry, I don't know what you would file that pertains to your country. I only know America for federal and then some states require an income tax some states don't so don't forget your taxes um again i don't even know what the tax deadlines are in other countries like canada or united kingdom how that works let me know how does the tax work in your country that'd be interesting um for a long time, I was a 1099 employee, so I would, you know, pay my taxes once a year. Uh, if you're a W-2 employee, usually they withhold your taxes, and then if you have extra income that's applied or, you know, you calculate it out. So today, instead of talking about MMTLP or CEI, which we're waiting on, we're still in the holding pattern of both of those for further announcements I thought I would give to you a Starlink unboxing that's why I'm wearing this because I'm going to unbox the Starlink the Starlink package came and let me show you what I received in the mail is a big box it's about 40% the size of a toilet box like an American Standard toilet that you buy the box, it's about 40% of that. <laughs> or maybe 30. I guess the footprint's a bit smaller, but it's about 30%, so a third of the size of that box. It's pretty big. Like, there you go. It says Starlink on it. And I haven't opened it, so I don't know. I know there's like a receiving dish, some cable, a modem, power cables. I'm not sure what else. And it has the little, I guess, X logo. For a SpaceX. So let's open it up. Whoa. Apologies for the bad camera angles. Um, I really need a nice studio for this. <laughs> My setup isn't really designed. Okay. Oh, there's stuff on the... Okay, there's tape on the bottom. Yeah. I don't know. I'm doing an unboxing video. Let everybody see. Whoa. What's in this? Oh, this isn't good. Okay. On the inside... There's an X and a paper. And here's some packing material. It's plastic. Okay, this is like... Oh, it's metal. So this is metal. This is like an... X for the dish. This is a Gen 2 dish, I guess. I'm going to set this down. Whoa! This is the antenna to catch the signal and it has like a, a pole like you can put it in a pole it has a cable a little lip 
has some little push in button features to get it in and out of the pole in case you want to put it in the stand or mount it to something else. It comes with a modem. Here's the Starlink modem. It has a, a bunch of concentric circles and dots. Uh, it reminds me of the Voyager, like that gold record on the Voyager. And I guess that's it. There's no buttons on it. There's some hookups. There's no buttons on this. It might be self-resetting. It's white. Looks, I guess, like an Apple product. There's like a, a smooth plastic interface, some rougher plastic, and no buttons on it. And down here is like rubberized for non-slip applications. Oh, where'd you go, Mom? Next, we have instructions. It says, aim the dish. That's what I'm going to do next, is aim this dish. And then run satellite to modem. Plug in modem. And I guess it creates the Wi-Fi. I should also have that adapter. I also ordered, um, I ordered the Ethernet adapter for this, actually. So, we'll see. I ordered an Ethernet adapter for this. I gotta see where it is. It comes with a long cable to go to your Starlink uh, satellite, but you can get an additional extension for it. It comes with a, a bunch of regulatory notices. Oh boy! Ha ha! Say, fellas, that's my Mickey Mouse. Ha oh, ha, oh, gee. Oh, gee, fellas, look at this regulatory notice. Ha ha. That's Mickey Mouse. It's, I sometimes do Mickey Mouse. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We get, we get instructions on Hungarian. So we should have Czech. If they have Hungarian on here, they should have Czech. They have French, English, environmental specifications, installation conditions, warning the power supplies, UTP, uniform tango, papa, 201 alpha, and uniform tango, papa, 201 sierra, and router, uniform tango, Romeo. Two zero one are restricted to indoor use only. Okay. Regulatory notices. Modification cautions. Cables. SpaceX Exploration Technology Corporation. One Rocket Drive, Hawthorne, California. Phone number. Area code 310-682-8100. TechReg help at SpaceX.com. So it just gives you some stuff. Oh, so it can't get above 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you live somewhere it's really hot, like maybe Arizona, you might want to put some shade on it if it gets too hot. This book of regulatory notices, it folds like a, a map. Anything else? In no, that's it. That's it. After this, it's an empty box. And that thus concludes my unboxing of the space box. 
next step is, I guess, set it up and test it out. I bought, I'm still waiting on it, and bought the little network adapter because I have um, Ubiquity. I have a Ubiquity mesh system at my house, which I don't know. I know about antennas, but not like networking with Ubiquity. I only know about setting up antennas and wavelength propagation. So we're going to set it up. Here's an update. It The satellite was not facing that way like traditional satellites would have me go, which is that way it actually wanted me to go like north and up. Like north and up is the satellite. So it's actually like right outside my window in the backyard. We put on this old piece of deck. We had like the old deck to the house. Towards the house we put the the star trap on it and now it points like that way towards the north which is towards you from my perspective you're towards the north so it's north and up it's interesting it's not like what the echo 17 satellite for HughesNet or direct tv which point that way uh this one's much higher up so it's kind of and that's it for the Starlink video today. I wound up getting it set up temporarily. It's temporary homes outside there. Sadly, it can't be obstructed by anything, right? So, uh, you can't... You can't, like, put it under a shelter protected against things. And my, big, my biggest concern out here is the Texas hail. Is my biggest concern is the hail. So, we'll see how it fares. Uh... Come next hailstorm. Okay, guys. I will see you soon. Goodbye.